Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be continuing our Sketch 3 tutorial series. And today we're going to be talking about artboards. Now, artboards are just one of the many things you can create to make your life easier in Sketch. So to basically explain them, it's worth mentioning that uh, Sketch Apps Canvas is infinite. So if we were to create a shape here, a rectangle, just as context, right? Now we can zoom out, and zoom out, and zoom out, and zoom out, and keep on zooming out. But what you'll notice is the boundaries to our canvas never exist. In fact, we're getting really far out here, and there's no boundaries. So what artboards allow you to do are to define boundaries. And what's great about that is it basically allows you to make multiple canvases per your document. Now this can be really useful if you're sharing assets between your artboards or you're just uh, having content come in between them or maybe all of this content is related. Either way, artboards are a way to organize your content and provide a nice canvas for you to work in. So what we can do is we can click new and then artboard. Now we have the option to click and drag now what this is going to do, you'll see that it has uh, pixel sizes next to it. When we let go, it creates an artboard. Now we have this artboard, it almost looks like a layer group over here, but it's not. It's essentially just a grouping of everything in that artboard. Now when we take a shape that's outside of this artboard and drag it over here, you can see that that shape just doesn't show up outside of the artboard. Sure, if we hover over this, you're going to see the boundaries of that shape, but the artboard is the visible area that we're working in. So if we were to export this artboard as an image, you would only see what's within the boundaries of this artboard. Now, likewise, we can create a second artboard if we'd like, just like that, and you'll notice it makes another group here. Now, if we make another shape, uh, let's just make a a rectangle again. Now the shape is within this artboard. If we drag it over here, you can see that Sketch actually transfers this rectangle into artboard number one. Now what happens if we drag it between the two? You can see that it stays in the artboard that it's currently in. If we move it over here, it moves it to artboard number two, and we move it back halfway in between and it stays in artboard number two. So you can't actually share assets between an artboard, You can, as in you can't have one asset appear in two artboards, but what you can do is you can duplicate this and move it over here and now you have the same object here. Now of course there's shortcuts to duplicate, uh, such as Command D is going to duplicate, so you don't have to right click duplicate. You can also click over here and select duplicate as well. If we wanted this uh, rectangle 4 to show up in artboard number 2, we could also grab it here and drop it right into this artboard. And you'll see that it's no longer visible in artboard number 1, even though it's within the bounds of artboard number 1. So artboards are a great way to contain the things that you're working on. Okay, now what else are artboards great for? Artboards are great for having a starting off point if you need to work in a specific canvas. So for instance, when I click New Artboard, you'll notice over here on the right, we have all sorts of different artboards pre-configured. So we have iPhone screens, we have iPad screens, we have responsive web design layouts, we have paper sizes, iOS 7 icons, iOS icons, and Mac icons. So let's say we wanted to have a portrait, iPhone, and artboard. We could just click this, and it drops it right into our project. So now we know that these dimensions right here are going to be perfect for the iPhone's dimensions. So we can get working on our, our design or whatever we're doing just within this document. Well, let's say now we also have an iPad. And because this app is going to be for iPhone and iPad, we can just go ahead and click New Artboard. And let's go ahead and select Landscape iPad. 
And so now we have a portrait iPhone and the landscape iPad, and these are both ready to start working in, and we can drag things between them, we can copy and paste, we can use them in the same project, and then when we're showing these uh, mockups off to people or anything like that, um, you can quickly show the difference between portrait, landscape, whatever, you have them sitting right here, and uh, it's a nice little presentation almost. Now, if you'll notice I'm dragging around, that shortcut is the same as uh, what you're used to with Adobe products. If you hold spacebar, you can click and drag around. Likewise, you can zoom in and out with command plus or minus. Cool. So these are artboards. Now let's talk about exporting. Now we could say file export. And in here, it's gonna give us the option of which artboards uh, we want to output. It's actually asking us which slices. And you'll notice that when we created these artboards, it actually made them as slices. So we could say we want all of these artboards, or we could uncheck this and simply say we want just artboard number one to be exported. Now when we click export here, it gives us our options, what uh, it's saying it's going to be a ping and where we want it to be stored. Now, if you want to be able to modify what those export settings are, uh, if you click on the artboard itself, in the left hand here in our layers, we have export settings over here on the right. And we could even say that this has a permanent background color of red. So now this artboard always has a background color of red. And notice how the checkbox for include and export is checked. That means when we export this artboard, the background's gonna be red. If we just want it to be red for presentational, maybe let's say we have a white on transparent icon, but we don't, so we don't want the background of the artboard to be white, you'd wanna uncheck this because you still want your icon to be white on transparent. This little export preview here shows you exactly what you're exporting, and then you can go ahead and click this export button. You can also click this button right here, if you would like to share it to any of these services. Well, there's lots more to talk about with exporting, which we're going to do in later lessons. However, you can now get started creating your artboards. And if you wanted to move your artboard around, you can actually select it and move it, click and drag like this, change the dimensions, change the dimensions over here in the inspector. Uh, there's a ton of flexibility. So, um, just play around with it and see what you can do. Just start creating your artboards and then start creating your art or whatever you're working on. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. Let us know what you like about Sketch, what you don't like about Sketch, how you're using artboards in cool ways. Just let us know what you're doing. Like I said, we love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.